All right, as you can see, uh, this garage is pretty much empty. And as you know, this is the garage where the YouTube videos were taking place. So this is in Cali, and I'm actually now moving to Georgia. So, um, all right, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna show you guys what is in the truck already. All right, as you can see, we got the fan, we got the Harbor Freight fan right here, and uh, it's working strong. It's uh, holding up, it's been blowing all day. Been using this, so if you guys want that Harbor Freight fan and you had your doubts, don't doubt anymore. This fan works. Uh, as you can see, we got uh, all the YouTube equipment, all the house gear. So uh, I'll catch you guys later. I'm gonna finish packing. Been at it for almost 24 hours now. Here you can see all the stuff. Just uh, it's crazy. Got like this super bright light right there, but there you go. You can see it right there. Truck is full. Gonna have uh, my car full and uh pretty tired so right now i'm just uh show you what the garage looks like pretty empty now so off to georgia what's up everybody so i'm back um here at penske uh i was up for 24 hours over 24 hours last night and uh the truck tail light didn't work so I'm at Penske getting it fixed and uh, as you can see got everything in the car well my cat so and a few other items got got my food on stash here that's how I roll um, very kind of prepared and um, yeah so just a little tired it's been a long it's been a long long night and uh, you know you just don't realize how much stuff you have when you live in one place for so long you just slowly accumulate stuff if you don't keep it in check uh so if you want to keep everything down to you know the minimalist style then i really would recommend that you just like take one day out of the week to just clean through the clutter even if you think that you have it all clean and it's all spotless trust me there's something that you can find to throw away all right, well, I'm getting a little tired, so I'm gonna just uh, take a little nap while they're processing everything, and I'll check in with you guys later. Peace. As you can see, uh, we're in Arizona now. So there's the truck and everything. Here's the car parked outside um, some plaza. But for now, this is the first time that I got to test out this little sun visor that I made for the windshield. And as you can see right there, I made the notch. So yeah, the notch is in. But, that's for everybody. I'm on the OnePlus 7 Pro, full screen, no notch, so that's how I roll. And, uh, yep, in Arizona, almost approaching Phoenix. And this road trip, it, it's hot. It is really hot, so that's that. Alright, so here we are again. Um, here's the car with the notch and everything. And there's the truck. So doing this road trip it's good but it's hot and uh, it's like just kind of a little humid but uh, it's it's good so once again on that way to Georgia Cali Georgia all right peace all right so it is Sunday August 25th and we're here at this uh, my aunt's house and she has like this RV park 
and shadows back here he's ready to go and um yeah so we're in tucson right now and we're going to be leaving tucson and um we're gonna get on the road right now so now we're gonna go get gas and the next stop will be dallas so it's a little hot it's almost yeah it's pretty hot so get that ac going all right and let's start her up and as you can see here that's the truck As you can see here, here's the here's the truck right here, driving on out. Cool. All right. So, till then, catch you guys later. So we're at, we're in Texas now and we made a quick stop because we were getting sleepy and we went to a gas station and these like trucks were next to these trucks and they were super loud so didn't get the best sleep but got some sleep. So now we're back on the road, going to try to make Dallas and uh, get a hotel in Dallas. So, see you guys then. All right, so, Driving through Texas right now, it's this is the longest stretch, and I gotta say, it's actually pretty fun because you get to see a lot. I haven't driven through Texas in a long time, many years, so pretty excited. Forgive the shakiness. Uh, I'm just I got the phone on camera holder here, and uh, that's that's that. But everything, everything is good. The, the car is running good. 
getting good gas mileage, everything's great. I, I put in, there's two things I did. I put in new HIDs, which were the Osram's Cool Blue Boost, and I put in BG44K. And um, the BG44K, I don't know if it did anything. It's the new platinum formula for GDI engines. But, um, I don't know. I don't know if it did anything, but it's in there. The Osram's Cool Blue Boost, up to 7,000K. They're still breaking in. I've only, I've been running them day and night. And so I, I probably want to say I have like 24 hours on them. But it's they're still they're just now starting to turn kind of white but you can still see like a little bit of the greenish hue uh, it also depends on the road if, I, if i'm on asphalt then you can kind of see like more of the green but if i'm on uh, cement then you you know they're more white but they are breaking in the color should they are color shifting um in terms of brightness they're pretty bright better than the oems and um so I'm kind of happy with that, but I do want more brightness, so I might change out the projector uh, just for that. Um, I guess you know, like the, more, the clear projector, so you can get that sharp, sharper line. So that's something to look out for. But uh, so far, I'm happy with everything. All right, guys, just uh, checking in. See you guys in a bit. Bam! What's up, everybody? I am back. Um. So like, we got this motel, hotel, and it's all right. I mean, there's there's a lot that I'm not going to say that I like, but, you know, it's just one of those things like, we just need a bed. So here we are. Um... So we're in Texas, we're in Midland now, and it's 111 degrees. That's really why we got out. We needed a hotel that accommodated pets. And this was like the closest. We were driving around, we were super hot, we were tired. We just needed somewhere to go. So we ended up in this place and that was that. But uh, we'll check in later with you guys because right now I'm gonna drive out and get something to eat. So peace. All right, so we're here in this hotel, and <clears throat> I'm just gonna say right off the bat, this place is a joint. This ain't a hotel, it's a joint. Look at this, look at that. Look, right there. Boom. Either somebody kicked the door in, or I mean, how do you, how do you break a safety latch like that? Um, yeah, and the shower was the shower was pretty pretty bad. Um, there was just like dirt, like just like shower dirt on the floor. I mean, just from like grime and stuff, and you know. But I mean, other than that, though, place was all right. Just the door right here in the shower, some dirt right here. Uh, you know, we just came in. This place is supposed to be brand, you know, or ready. Hasn't been used, but looks like somebody had their shoes on, just jumping on the bed. So, uh, got got that. Uh, but just wanted to uh, give you guys an update. All right, peace. We are now approaching what appears to be. Hey, what's up everybody? So, um, I just showed some footage, but as you can see, it's, it's like really windy. It's a lot of clouds going on. Uh, the trailer is feeling it a little bit, but uh, it's all good. It's all part of the adventure. So just driving through and everything like that. And uh, everything's good. Everything's good. 
just driving really slow. We're driving like 50 miles an hour in, in a 75. So that's that's pretty funny. People are, but the cool thing is that unlike you know just um, city city driving, when you're out on like these two lane roads, I feel like everybody has like more respect, you know. So uh, if you're driving slow, you're already in the right hand lane, and people just go around you like they don't try to tailgate you, you know, to teach you that lesson. You know those tailgaters that are like. I'm not gonna switch lanes even though both lanes to the right and left of me are open. I'm gonna try to teach this person a lesson by tailgating him. And it's and it's annoying because you're not teaching them a lesson, you're just wasting your time. Uh, so that's the thing. And um, yeah, so yeah, just uh, gotta... Anyway, I lost track where I was going. Uh, actually, I didn't lose track, but there was a there was a state trooper, and I noticed something on Google Maps recently, and it's the whole like speed trap thing, and I was just kind of wondering like, do state troopers or police know about it, and how do they feel about it? I don't know. And the fact that we were driving super slow, it's almost like. Do they think, oh, hey, they know there's a speed trap, so they're going to, like, really play it safe and buy the book. But, uh, anyway, so, catch you guys in the next chapter, next episode, next checkpoint. We're going to Dallas next. Uh, see you guys then. Alright, so, I am leaving the Hampton Inn and in Suites, um, Nature Called. So I had to use the bathroom, and after staying at La Quinta, you know, I was just real on edge, and I didn't want to take any chances, so I just kind of reviewed a few hotels that were in the area and ended up going with this one, and it was amazing. I mean, the bathroom was super clean, the staff was super friendly, and I was asking them, you know, like, um, just some questions about pricing and everything and you know they were I mean because just off the bat just looking at it, I was like okay this is easily like you know hundred and eighty dollars a night and and um, so so like I asked the lady and everything and she said today was expensive and she said on on the expensive end it's a hundred and twenty five dollars and we paid a hundred dollars at La Quinta or La Quinta and uh, it was a joint. I'm not even calling that. Turn left room. onto East Stamford Street. That was a joint. And so, you know, we stayed at a joint for a hundred bucks with discounts and um, the Hampton. Continue on East Stamford Street for one mile without discounts. So. I mean, I just want to pass that knowledge on to everybody out there who's traveling. Uh, just stay at the Hampton Inn and Suites because that was a really cool hotel. But uh, once again, though, I didn't stay in a room, but I mean, just based off the bathroom, you can tell a lot about a place by the bathroom, uh, the lobby, everything like that. It was it was just super nice. So uh, that's 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 my recommendation. And from now on. I myself personally am gonna stay at the Hampton Inn and Suites and I'm not being paid or anything like this this is just my road tripping experience so just want to pass that on to you guys all right later Exciting. So, exit three, 
149 is where we're going to exit. So I'm going to stop at Love's and kind of just, you know, rest out a little bit. The big storm isn't coming until tonight. So um, hopefully we can get some rest and then move on out before and maybe we can get ahead of the storm. That's the plan. Hopefully it'll it'll go across it'll go across our path instead of with us. Um, so that'll be good, hopefully. But trying to catch some lightning for you guys out there, make it a little exciting. And um, I'll just kind of hold the camera here and see if we can catch something. I I heard. I saw a big bolt and then I heard a large or loud thunder, which was really cool. So uh, hopefully we can catch something again. One thing that kind of sucked is that along the way, like right at the beginning of the road trip, my windshield wiper, uh, the rubber piece broke at the top. So. I gotta get that repaired at some point. Yeah, you can hear it. Yeah, there you go. So I'm gonna probably have to stop like at an AutoZone or Walmart or something and pick up some new blades. But hopefully it won't be too big of an issue until I can get it sorted out. Look at those gas prices. We're in Louisiana now, and I am pretty tired. Okay, bye. What's going on everybody? So today I'm here in Alabama, almost in Georgia. I had to make a quick stop at the Hampton right there. And uh, yeah, so uh, everything's looking good. Got the, the truck parked right there. And uh, yeah, so it's been a long trip. My ankles are like super, super swollen uh, just from driving. Uh, we did stay at that hotel and 
you know so we just decided like to just kind of see if we could just push through and that uh, ended up being kind of a bad idea I don't know yet but definitely want to get out of the car and everything and can't wait to be in the new house using that garage making more videos for you guys so until then stay crispy What's up everybody so I'm here in Georgia in the new garage uh, in the new house and the road trip was successful it was awesome it was long but it was good and uh, so as you can see uh, I'm in the garage it's uh, unfinished it, you know just kind of real blank uh, I got a blank canvas to start with and so I want your help on just how to build this garage uh, what kind of cabinets uh, tables and everything I should use uh, one thing I do have in mind with this setup that I, I want to do this time is I want to put everything on casters uh, on wheels so that I can just kind of move the garage around to fit the needs of the job and so uh, yeah go ahead and uh, let me know some of your ideas share your ideas with me in the comments and uh, yeah we can really get this garage up and running and uh, I can just uh, continue making great YouTube videos for you guys and also if you feel like helping you feel like you want to donate uh, go ahead and uh, donate to the link in the comments below or should I say in the description below and uh, yeah we can really get that garage up and running so uh, until then uh, I'll see you guys in the next video uh, also I'm gonna make a review in the next video of all the things that I used during the road trip and uh, so I'll go over things like um, the windshield wiper blade that I had to buy and uh, I actually had to fix a flat tire uh, that almost went flat so I'm gonna review all the products that I use all the things that just made the road trip easy uh, for me and uh, share that with you guys so that'll be in the next video look out for that until then see you guys next time